sometimes I despair. All around us there's poverty, bad parenting, gangs, war, cruelty, crime. <coughs> ah, ah, ah. Well, I'm not a political person, so I don't get involved in the politics of any of these things and try to change them in any political way. So why am I here? Because this is the one thing that actually makes me want to bother to get on a train to London and come and talk about it. I think if there's anything that we could do to change our society in this country and also in the wider world for the better, it would be uh, reforming our drug laws. Now, I'm speaking to the converted here, but anyway, never mind. <laughs> Let's encourage e each other in this way. It, it, it seems to me that prohibition is like a kind of a drag on all of us. A kind of, like, I imagine, kind of um, Dick Whittington with a, with a little bu bundle full of lead. Or, or sort of, uh, 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 you know, it, and it's on all of us. Not all of us smoke cannabis, although an awful lot of us do. But all of us are affected. I used to live in Bristol, and um, I now live in a peaceful little village in Devon. We were broken into again and again and again. And none of the perpetrators was ever caught, and all the police would say, they'd come round dutifully and take statements, and all they would ever say is they're just kids trying to get money for drugs. And the, the, the wreckage that ensued. And I realise how much less fearful I am now not living in a place where this happens all the time, but most of us in this country live in cities and are constantly, it's a little bit in the back of your mind. Of course there'll be crime of, you know, without, without um, illegal drugs, but, but everything that we're hearing here suggest that it, it would be a great deal less. A couple of things that haven't been mentioned today are some sort of um, purely personal issues, but the freedom issue is, is, is not um, something we can pin down in reports like this. But honestly, if I go and grow some nice dope at home and smoke it myself, and my children won't have any because they say, oh, they're not end up with a drug like you. Um, you know, I am not harming myself. Well, if I am harming myself, it's my problem, it's not very serious, and I don't think it's going to cost the NHS so much, and I'm certainly not harming anybody else. But there's an, that, that, as I said, is a pure opinion issue, and one of the things I really like about this report and what's happening here today, and why I'm going to go out and publicise it as much as I can, is because it's not about those kind of opinion issues, it's about facts, gathering information and facts about it. In a way, this is even more depressing, because we know our government is will sack somebody for saying, let's go, uh, let, let's base our policy on science. Um, but I have to remain, as a, as a lifelong scientist, I have to remain optimistic that in the end, scientific truths will prevail over idiocy um, and uh, bigotry and ignorance. Another point that hasn't been mentioned by anyone else is the pure um, uh, class and racial unfairness of, of prohibition. Because I honestly think that for me, as a 60-year-old, white, well-to-do, educated mother living in you know, a small village in Devon, you know, if I grow cannabis in my garden, my chances of being busted are quite small. If I were young and poor and black and living in Bristol, for example, or any city, my chances of not being busted would be very small. And that really makes me angry. I mean, lucky me, but you know, it, it, it makes me angry. So there are many, many things here um, to add, 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 add apart from this. So, can we be optimistic at all that anything's going to change? Because we've had how long? 40 years of the Misuse of Drugs Act. We've had every kind of human kind of stupidity, um, uh, ignorance and refusal to accept the facts. Here we're presented with the most fantastic schemes that could really work, and we know that, well, we fear that nobody's going to listen. Will it change? Well, I think there were two things that politicians will want. One is money, and the other is votes. Here we have promises of the magic, the magic money. What did you call it? The John. Pot of gold. Pot the pot of gold, the, the magic pot of gold, I don't know that, yes. Will they listen? Well, I don't think they'll listen until they've got the other thing, which is the votes. And here, my optimism comes from my thought.
that there, is, there will be a tipping point. I think it's that kind of a phenomenon. It's not one of those slow, it's one of those things. If any politician standing for election uh, thinks that by and large the people voting for him are of the just say no type, and they, ooh, drugs are dangerous, so we must prohibit them, then he or she uh, will go online. What it requires is that enough of us ordinary people who are going to vote to make our politicians think, mm, I might get more votes. And even, can you imagine this? Can you imagine? Uh, let's say next year, let's say, or whenever the next election is, um, uh, in a few years' time, the politicians, the candidates, clamoring to be the one loudest, saying, I'm going to be the one at last to sort out the cannabis from a wheel, wheel, and we'll get more money, and you know, you can have bigger pensions, and, or, and they'll be clamoring to, can you think that's going to happen? Well, I, I, I see some shaking heads, but, but it'll happen one day. It's got to happen one day. This horrendous burden, this, this great weight that we're all carrying around, will, it just becomes heavier and heavier. At some point, we're going to have to throw it off. But maybe it'll be sooner than later. So all I can say is I urge all of you, just get the word out. Keep talking. There's nothing very dramatic we can do. But if every friend we tell other people and we can actually change the number of people who will vote for someone who will get this done, that's the best I can think of. That's how I manage to go to sleep at night, not too depressed and uh, a little bit hopeful.